tropical wet evergreen and semi evergreen. Tropical wet evergreen and semi evergreen are found in regions having rainfall above 100 inches uh, below 900 meters of uh, the relief here. There are thus three areas of their occurrence Western Ghats of Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Kerala, mountainous slopes of Bengal and Assam, and then the northeastern India. The whole of this region is characterized by excessive heat and humidity, which gives rise to luxuriant growth of trees, meaning that uh, the temperature is high, the moisture is high enough, uh, and also that uh, both of them go to combine to give rise to luxuriance of vegetation in the region. The second is, the growth of vegetation is so profuse that the trees rise high, competing with uh, one another and ultimately arrange themselves in uh, the form of uh, four stories or tiers. Tiers of trees uh, are covered with climbers and epiphytes. Uh, we are talking about plants growing on another tree. Epiphytes are those type of plants that grow on another tree. The undergrowth mainly consists of a tangled masses of canes, bamboos, ferns and climbers. Near the margins, that is, margins of water bodies uh, and all of those type of places, the undergrowth is generally very dense. In normal conditions, the undergrowth is not present because it's simply not possible for undergrowth to take place uh, because light hardly reaches the surface. But near to the water bodies, where there cannot go to be a forest cover, and when the sun's rays can actually enter the forest, the undergrowth is generally very dense. And a variety of orchids flourish on the trees. The fifth of its characteristic is the trees grow very close together, and in a single acre, almost 100 different species of trees can be found. As such, these forests are very dense and impenetrable and this in fact does not allow light to reach the ground. And this is the reason that reach these regions are also going to be called as a reasons of twilight. Some of you people who can go on to move in a, uh, the forests of Assam eh, and deep within the forests of Assam and northeastern region, eh, they are in daylight, in a broad daylight they are almost going to be dark to an extent eh, that you will hardly go on to find that well there has been sunshine or not. Now that goes on to bring us to another aspect associated with it and that is uh, the way the questions can be asked in this case. Yeah. You can be given a question to identify the forest that is uh, identify the forest from the given example. The example in this case that can be given would be that is uh, it is going to be found in the northeastern region. It is going to be very very dense, light can hardly go on to penetrate the inner portion of it and the region goes on to be having a, a very dense undergrowth near to the margins, near to the water bodies, near to the lakes, near to the river. Now it is on the basis of this characteristic that you will have to identify the forest area. Now this is one way in which the question can be asked. Anyway. Coming back to it, that is the, the sixth characteristic is that the ground flora species are few with little grasses. And when we go on to be talking about that is going to be having little grasses, then we are essentially going to be talking about that is those type of grasses that are going to be found associated with, with margins only, nowhere else. The seventh is since there is an abundance of moisture availability. The tropical rainforest, these tropical rainforests go on to be having a variety of types of insects in these areas and these regions. And when we are going to be having a variety of insects, of course, that is not associated with vegetation, but just for the purpose of a co-relationship. Since there is abundance of moisture availability, the trees are evergreen and do not shed their leaves in any part of the year. That means even if it is that they go on to shed their leaves, eh, these trees are going to be associated with what we are going to be calling it as synchronous shedding. Of course, this is not a topic of a study right now and here. Most of these trees are chiefly of hardwood type eh, and these trees are toon, poon, ebony, mahogany, roadwood, chaplas, gurjan, hopia, nagkesar, pila champa and a variety of them. Now, from an examination perspective, you require to know the names of uh, all of these trees uh, because uh, what can be done is and what can be asked is uh, 
you may be asked about it, which of the following is an odd tree that means you will be given the name of Toon, Poon, Nabani, Mahogany and then you will be given the name of Acacia. So you will have to understand that Acacia can go to be the odd one out in this case because Acacia is part of tropical savanna. That's the reason that the name of the trees happen to be significant and also because all of these names are going to be important from the perspective of a getting to match them together. That is where they will go to be handy. Where the rainfall decreases from 100 inches, uh, 80 inches uh, to 80 inches, the evergreen forests degenerate into semi evergreen forests. Uh. The deciduous trees increase in number. Bamboos, canes, ferns, and orchids are going to be common in this region. The tropical deciduous forests uh, form the natural cover nearly everywhere where the rainfall is from 40 to 80 inches. Uh. 